we're here at the Teleco River in Teleco Plains, Tennessee. This is one of the tributaries to the Upper Tennessee River. So all this water flows downstream towards Chattanooga eventually, but most importantly for us, we're here catching tangerine darters. These are really beautiful, brightly colored fish. Some of them get pretty large, up to six inches or so. And for a darter, that's, that's like a largemouth bass right there that we're talking about. When we got here, it's a little chilly. It's starting to feel like fall and the river temperatures are definitely dropping. So we were hoping that we could get away with just seining. We were hoping we could stay warm and dry and just sane the fish into our nets. Unfortunately, where the fish were hanging out today was not in a place that we could access with our seines. It's also, the water is gorgeous and clear right now. Um, and that's a great thing, but it means that the fish can see us coming. So we switched over to snorkeling, and what that means is that we're actually in the water in our wetsuits, and we are looking for the fish in the water, and once we see one, we either work together to herd it into a seine, or we're actually gonna scoop it out of the water directly with a dip net. One of the things I love most about tangerine darters is they're really kind of friendly fish. They come up, they look at you, they say hi, they've got some character to them. So we kind of joke that for us, this is like snorkeling with dolphins. This is a really cool project, and it actually jumps to an entirely different aquatic organism, and those are freshwater mussels. Freshwater mussels are really important animals. They actually filter our water for us as they feed, so they're helping keep our water clear. Unfortunately, freshwater mussels are also really imperiled. Freshwater mussels just have a single foot. They don't move around a whole lot, so they've gotta be kind of tricky about how they're gonna send their kids off into the wider world around them they will lure in fish and they will develop really elaborate lures. Some of them look like a crayfish fanning in the water. Some of them look like a minnow that's kind of darting in the current. And fish will come in and try to eat the lure or try to spawn with it. And then the mussel actually releases all of its larvae and they attach to the fish gills. Then the fish will swim off and after you know several days, a week, those larvae are gonna settle off somewhere new, fall off the fish and develop. So it takes freshwater fish for freshwater mussels to have babies and have those babies go somewhere else into the river. Fish who have already had a freshwater mussel attached to them are less likely to have another freshwater mussel attached to them later. Their immune system somehow recognizes that mussel. It takes us out here in the fall collecting tangerine darters. We're going to spawn them in the spring when they would normally spawn. Then we raise up those what we call naive tangerine darters that have never seen a freshwater mussel before. And then we send them to our partners at the Cumberland River Aquatic Center in Nashville so that they can complete the life cycle for their freshwater mussels that they're working to restore. Whether it's drinking water that we need or whether it's just having a beautiful day out with your family and enjoying a picnic by a beautiful river like the Teleco, we need freshwater mussels in there helping us enjoy that water.